This is Lance at the My Four Sons Warehouse. In this video, we're going to talk about what happens when you turn on the unit, you get no power, but the voltmeter lights come on. Okay, so if, if we turn on the switches, we don't hear any pump noise, but there is a voltmeter light. The most common reason why this occurs is because we've forgotten that it's an on-demand pump, and all you need to do is pull the trigger. Pull the trigger, it's an on-demand pump. When it reaches pressure, it will, it will never turn the, the motor on, even if you turn it off. And I'm gonna turn off the, both switches, and because it stays at pressure, when I turn them back on, the pump doesn't make noise. And the pressure head can stay active for days or weeks, uh, which helps to add to the confusion when you go back to use the unit either after just a f the first time fill up or after several weeks. The number two reason why you get no pump noise when the voltmeter lights are on is a bad battery. It doesn't happen very often. There are three things that you that will tell you that, that help indicate that it's a bad battery. Number one, in this case, it shows a green and a red light, but if your battery is low voltage, the green light will be off and you'll have just the red light on. The other indication that you have a bad battery is when you plug in the charger, the light on the charger will be flashing red after you've plugged it into the base. The number three most objective assessment of your battery is using a voltmeter. And if the battery voltage that you measure is 12.2 volts or less after you've charged it, then that's a good indication that your battery needs to be replaced. The number three reason why you get no pump sound with voltmeter lights on is because the pump has failed. And this happens the least frequent of all failure modes. But there is a sure way to test that, and that is by touching the plus and the minus wires of the pump to your battery. If the pump stirs, that means your, your electric on your pump is good. If the pump doesn't spin when you touch the bare wires to the battery terminals, then we're confident that your pump electric is not working and it's time to replace the pump. In quick fix video number two, we were neglected to talk about two other root causes of voltmeter lights coming on and having no motor activity or water coming out of the end of the nozzle. If you turn on your unit, you get voltmeter lights but no pump sound, and by the way, this one works, so you're hearing the pump. But if you turn this on, you get lights and no flow. The first reason we gave in Quick Fix, the first version of Quick Fix number two, is that customers forget to pull the trigger. So what you do is you pull the trigger while it's on, and if it turns on, you're great. Otherwise, if you pull it and there's no flow, now, the next thing you need to look at is a clog, possibly in the wand assembly. So, just start taking off parts, beginning with the nozzle at the end. And you pull the trigger. If it doesn't work, if you don't get flow, undo the flex tip. Shoot it into the tank. Again, if it doesn't work, of course, if it if it starts flowing, then you might even narrow it down to the root cause. Now, if you, if you take the wand off and you shoot the valve and it still doesn't go in, the, the reason why it's not flowing is more than likely the red O-ring piston has a O-ring out of position. So we always ship an extra O-ring piston with the, with the nozzles. So we have a video showing how to change this out in about two minutes. So go ahead and change that out. Try. Um, if you still don't get flow, obviously then just take the valve off uh, and work your way down to the motor. 